Hey, it's Elizabeth Thomas of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to do an easy keto meal prep. Ah, coming up next. Hey, guys, it's Elizabeth Thomas of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to do an easy keto meal prep. Who loves easy keto? I do. <laughs> but before we dive into this video, make sure you smash that like button, click subscribe, and down below, I'm gonna have a whole blog post of all of these delicious goodies so you can cross-reference the keto recipes, the low-carb diet information I have. It will all be in the blog post down below. And this video is in collaboration with the amazing Journey to Healthy, Ah, I will put Journey to Healthy's YouTube video with their corresponding keto and low carb meal prep down below too. Jess is amazing. Literally, she and I became friendly on Instagram and her Instagram is JessWW74 and her YouTube channel is Journey to Healthy. So good, I will put her information down below if you want more inspiration, motivation, and weight loss. Jess is your girl. So Journey to Healthy, Jess's YouTube channel, um, I love because she was a Weight Watchers person like I was, and then now has kicked over into doing keto because of the great benefits from high fat, moderate protein, low carb, and always keeping that context for the ketogenic diet of high fat, moderate protein, low carb, and not making it high protein or low fat, things like that, keeping it in its proper place, which just definitely does over on Journey to Healthy. So go check out her video below, go check out the blog post below. Let's talk about our keto meal prep meals we're gonna be making today, if you wanna follow along at home. So I got some good things. One is our mini sausage pizzas. When I was in Chicago, y'all had recommended to me when I put on Instagram, I want pizza from Chicago. And there's Lou, I'm putting in the comments how I pronounce it, Lou Montaglo's, I totally just butchered that. Um, makes sausage crust pizzas, so I wanted to make them at home. I'm gonna make mini ones because you can freeze these. Hello mamas and ladies out there who are busy, who want a lazier keto item of being really busy but being able to freeze it after you've made it. So it's kind of like a frozen, DiGiorno, but keto style. So that's number one in our keto meal prep. Number two in our easy keto meal prep is going to be crock pot keto ribs. Yes, mama, I did say crock pot keto ribs. Number three we're gonna be doing for easy keto meal and lazy keto meal is a keto brisket. So good. It's gonna be a pot roast slash, slash low carb barbecue sandwich. I'm gonna show you two ways. If you want it for the ketogenic diet, or if you want it for the low carb diet, two ways to make this crock pot meal. Number, so that was number three. Number four, we're gonna make waffles, keto waffles, and how to freeze those. Y'all, I'm all about freezing stuff. Like literally, I could not get through life without my freezer. And then number five, I'm gonna make a bunch of hard boiled eggs. Again, keto is moderate protein, but for snacks, carnivore diet, things like that, I like having hard boiled eggs because it's versatile. You can make deviled eggs out of them, you can make a hard boiled snack out of them, you can chop them up and make egg salad. It's like Bubba Gump and his shrimp. Well, you have the hard boiled eggs and for kids in particular or a hot husband having those handy and ready to grab as a keto snack super simple for our easy keto meal prep and then number six I bought some on my target keto grocery haul go check out that video in my keto playlist but for my target keto grocery haul I got cheese very inexpensively apparently y'all told me in the YouTube comments so put in the comments below your poll question today is what is your favorite easy keto meal but y'all told me in the comment section from my Target Keto Grocery Haul that the cheese was on sale at Target because Market Pantry, the brand under Target, is leaving. So go check your Target to see if you have cheap cheese and go cut your own cheese. <laughs> so I'm gonna be cutting the cheese today. Um, that's gonna, I'm gonna be cutting the cheese, shredding it, and then also putting it into portion size. Anyone else out there eat too much dairy? I do, unless I have it portioned. So I'm portioning it for myself in little glass containers, my boy for his school, and then also shredded cheese so that block is not just sitting there being blockish. Okay, so those are our meals. Let's go ahead and dive in. for our end results with our awesome brisket, our keto brisket, that we're gonna show you two different ways to make it in our keto ribs from the crock pot. 
Super simple recipe. Again, it will be in the blog post down below how you do all these things. Now, I'm gonna show you two different ways for the ribs to make them and the brisket to make them keto diet and low carb diet. So here is the brisket. We already ate it <laughs> from last night, doing it low carb style. You can simply have the meat, and what I do for my family is I will make my portion size in the crock pot, and then I will make theirs so it's separate and they're not co-mingling. So for this, for the keto brisket, simply just take it out, pull it apart, and I'll eat it as is. Like the seasoning on it's good. Um, I can put sometimes some sour cream on it if I need to like some extra to be fancy, but literally like just eating it straight up like this is awesome way to have it as my keto diet brisket, eating it straight out of the crock pot, shredding it, and then eating it. That is one way definitely to do this. You can use the leftovers of this also to make keto tacos. My taco shells link I will put down in the description link in the blog post too. And then for the low carb barbecue one, you can use Stab's barbecue sauce, the sugar-free version. Definitely low carb, not the cleanest ingredients, but if you are absolutely craving barbecue, this is better than like full-fledged barbecue sauce, okay? So I'm gonna link that in the, the blog post below. Of course you wanna be mindful of your macros and your sugars, that inflammation properties, this is inflammatory. This may cause you later to have more sugar cravings as opposed to the keto meal. So just be mindful of that. You make your own decisions, let own self be true. We all have different bodies, God has made us all differently. So do what's best for you where you are in your weight loss journey too. If you're trying to lose a ton of weight, I would suggest maybe not having the barbecue sauce, low carb barbecue sandwich, but do whatever, do whatever one you want. If you're craving it, go for it. <clears throat> but just be mindful there can be some kickback with inflammation from the low carb, sugar-free Stobbs brand. I like Stobbs. It tastes good to me. And my husband is a pit master, my hot husband, and he recommends Stobbs, so that's what I have. So you can mix around in here. Simply, you just mix it all, you make it like the hokey pokey. Mix it all together, and then you can eat off of this for tonight's dinner, tomorrow's lunch, tomorrow's dinner, and then you're done. Or you can freeze it, friends. You can freeze it so when you reheat it when after it's frozen, just put it in the microwave, put a little more barbecue sauce on, great. If you're refreezing your keto brisket and this easy keto meal, just microwave it. Like, put it, like, freeze it, and then put it in for you to have later on. So for the keto ribs, same recipe as the brisket, same properties as the brisket, same principles to make it for the keto diet or adding the barbecue sauce um, for the low carb diet. This will also all be in the blog post below. Super, super simple, but you could literally put it in the same crock pot like I did to save on time. For my easy keto meal prep, super simple. Put the meat in the crock pot, all the ingredients, all the seasonings, the levels is down in the blog post below. Super simple to add, um, to, to set and forget this easy keto meal prep meal, two meals in your crock pot at the same time, or you could do them differently. You could use your Instapot. I'm choosing not to today, but you definitely could do that as an option, but I'm loving my crock pot today for my easy keto meals. Okay, I've got my sausage now. Normally you'd put an egg in here, so I'm gonna put that. This will all be in the blog post down below in the description. I'm simply gonna go ahead and add some of my shredded cheese that I just did, the egg, and then also some almond flour too. Mix this together as kind of like a binder. And you're just literally kind of like a meatloaf, which you could repurpose this recipe totally for that. Mix it all together. And then you're just literally gonna take, I don't know, that's like what, a half a cup into little balls, smash them to be super thin, super, super thin into little patties. I'm gonna put down my parchment paper. I love, this is not sponsored by them, but I love the pop-up Reynolds brand parchment paper. That will also be in the blog below. Um, the kind that I like, it, it's so much easier. And literally, this is even too big. I would like it to be ideally even smaller than this. I'm gonna put it on my parchment paper and just, I like it to be very thin. Get some more of my sausage. Again, make it very thin. This sausage is chorizo. You can use whatever you have. If you have leftover hamburger meat, use what you have. That's the beautiful part of easy keto meal prep is using what you've got. Again, making these smash into little patties and I made a very small, thin one there. And it's going to get greasy on the 
parchment paper sheet from the sausage, which is why I like the parchment paper, and in a tin or a baking sheet that has not just the baking sheet, but has somewhere to catch the grease from the sausage patties. All right, like I said, it's gonna be greasy on here. We had it for 425, cooked it for six minutes. I'm simply flipping them over. Again, when they're ready to have delicious toppings on top. Don't these look delicious? So I'm simply going to scoop these off and put them onto our fresh ones so I don't have a ton of grease. If you notice in the pan, let me show you. So I'm gonna scoop these off because there's a ton of grease in here and put it on a fresh parchment paper pan. That's just to be expected, par for the course on making your sausage crust mini keto pizzas. This is an awesome, easy keto meal prep because you can do this with a variety of different meats. You can make them big, you can make them small, you can make them whatever size your family potentially would want. And also the reason why I love parchment paper, particularly, is I'm just gonna throw this away. Like that makes for easy keto meal prep cleanup. Clean up an aisle too. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use some basil um, pesto. You could use tomato sauce. You could use you could use some of your um, tomato sauce from your Aldi haul. This is 29 cents and relatively low carb and low sugar for a tomato sauce from Aldi versus, it's 29 cents four carbs for a fourth of a cup. We don't use that much, but I like basil pesto. I think it tastes delicious from Costco. So I'm simply just gonna put a little sauce on here, just on the top, just to give it a little Zaza Zoo flavoring. I love pesto. It's one of my favorite things. I just, I love it. And it's a great high fat, moderate protein, low carb item to have. So in terms of comparing your macros for the basil pesto, it is, a fourth a cup is uh, five net carbs or nine carbs versus and zero grams of sugar, no sugar in that. Whereas in your tomato sauce, this one, a fourth a cup is, a fourth a cup is two grams of sugar, four net carbs or four carbs. So take your pick. I like the fat in this is zero fats in the tomato sauce, where in the basil pesto, it is 30, 30 grams of fat. If you need to get your fat in for the day for high fat, moderate protein, low carb, have the basil pesto. And then I'm gonna take the butts of my cheese when I was cutting the cheese <laughs> and put these on here. You could definitely use your shredded cheese by all means. So I just, so I just pulled these out of the oven. The simplest, easy keto meal. I have sweat on my brow, but it's really, really simple to make these and your family is going to love them. So while I'm having that cook, I'm gonna go ahead and put my baby spinach. I like to parcel them out into Pyrex cups, two cups each. I find that I, I, if this is sitting here not prepped for me, I will not eat my spinach like I should. So I simply get my two cups out because two cups is best for the potassium, more potassium in spinach than there is in a banana. And we need that on the keto diet. So I'm just literally stuffing it. And then I can see I'm getting it everywhere. It's like a Sesame Street chef. This is the best easy pre keto meal prep video you've ever seen because lettuce is flying everywhere. Okay, so that, that's in the container. I know that one container is in fact two cups. And then that is done, so I can literally just put some dressing on it later. But I have parceled out all, see the dogs even get some too from my messiness. The dogs will come and eat it. They'll get their potassium from the spinach. And literally I'm just putting my organic spinach in here. So it's all set and ready to be eaten. And it's already in a bowl. And that's why I like these glass bowls because they can travel if I am traveling somewhere for work or if I, uh, I just wanna grab it out for an easy keto dinner and put my dressing on it as a keto side. Got it right here with my organic spinach. boy at school cannot have glass so I do have to make his in plastic or plastic bags 
Um, not the most environmentally friendly thing, but they don't want little kids smashing glass containers everywhere, which I totally get. So these are some of my cheeses. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shred this bad boy so I will have shredded cheese for later on. So I shred this as to not have the additives. They do put thickening agents, which are not super, super good, um, into shredded cheese. So I prefer just to shred my own. Of course, organic is best, grass-fed is best. I say that disclaimer in every video. Those are the best, but do the best that you can afford. And um, this, I simply, I can freeze. You could put some almond flour in here. That was a suggestion y'all gave to make it not clump together when you freeze it. But I'm gonna be using these for my sausage pizzas, so it's no big deal to have it all in my Pyrex container. These were on sale at Target recently. I will put that also in the blog post below of how I get my glass containers inexpensively. There, I have a couple of techniques for meal prep for those, which I use over and over and over, which is better than the environment and cheaper than these bad boys, these plastic bags. So these leftover ones we're gonna use for our keto pizza, so I'm just gonna get these cut up So literally for the Disney waffles, for the keto waffles, you can cook these and then put them into your freezer afterwards after the, and flash freeze them. It's really, really simple to do. And if you made a bunch of them all at one time, maybe you make a batch of 10 for batch cooking. I just made two, but you can make literally like 10 of them at a time so you don't have to make them for the couple of weeks um, or however big it would fit for your family. If you found this video helpful or you liked it, smash that like button. Make sure you share it with a girlfriend or guy friend. Make sure you click subscribe to see all things keto, all things weight loss, and go check out Journey to Healthy's YouTube channel for their corresponding keto meal prep. I know Jess is gonna have some amazing, awesome dishes on the ketogenic lifestyle and ketogenic uh, diets. So go check out Journey to, Journey to Healthy's YouTube channel as well. You won't regret it. I'll see you in the next video and check down in the description link for the blog post for all of these awesome easy keto meals. Bye guys, make it a powerful day.